Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. The weather is great now. It's been a while and I apologize guys. So I appreciate you guys' patience. I did want to make the announcement that my car did come in, the one that I was waiting for, and I actually had it flatbed transported over to my PPF place, EDS Motors. I'll go ahead and uh, give him a shout out below. Here's a little hint as to the car that I'm getting. I guess a sneak peek. What the heck? I think the car will be ready probably. I don't know, maybe like a couple weeks from now. But when it is, I will definitely give you guys the reveal. Now, some of you may not be surprised, some of you may be surprised, some of you may be disappointed, some of you may be excited. Didn't expect that I would be able to get it, so I'm definitely very, very, very happy to share it with you guys. So stay tuned, guys, and let's start on the WRX. All right. All right, drink a whole bunch of water. All right, guys, well, I did do a little bit of work on the WRX today. As you can tell, I already removed the wheels. And I already had the opportunity to remove the upper control arm, which was right here. If you don't really like working in tight spots, this is definitely not an easy removal. Uh, in the factory service manual, they actually ask you to remove the entire subframe to get access to that upper control arm in the rear. But, you know, forget that. I'm definitely not doing that. Anyways, here is the upper control arm. Uh, this was the one I used a long time ago to test on. Uh, it's completely messed up. I actually ended up practicing putting the bushing back in. It was really hard to get this bushing out. I don't know why. There was, I guess, some adhesive on there or something. I really don't know. But it was really tough to get out. And I'll actually post a video below in the description. These two guys, I think one of them is a Toyota Tech. They actually showed a really, really, really good method of removing control arm bushings. I even bought something similar to what they used in terms of in terms of a push and pull sleeve. And I'll go ahead and put that below in the description. Uh, this one is my old one. It's, it's pretty good, but this is a lot better. It comes with like these like safety plates or whatnot. And I'll show you in the next video. This bushing was really tough to get out. And to be honest, the group end version of this doesn't feel that much different. Probably for the next car, I'll probably do Cusco pillow ball bushings. But we'll save that for later on. And that's pretty much all I had time for. It took me about three hours to get it out because it's just really tough. But luckily I did come across that video that I'm gonna post below. It shows a much better method on how to safely and effectively remove bushings from control arms. Probably the next video will be possibly my new car reveal. I just wanna thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys giving me support and just following my channel as it grows. All right, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. If you want to get some earlier updates, I did start a uh, Instagram. All I got to do is, you know, take a picture and then post it. All right, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later.